going to have a look at Alma Linux distribution which is fork from the Red Hat sources. So if we go to Alma Linux.org, we can see the distribution is still in the beta stages. So it's being developed by Cloud Linux team. They have been around for over 10 years developing Red Hat based distributions without wasting much of your time. If you go to downloads, you will see three different versions. One is boot.iso, one is dvd1.iso and the third one is minimal.iso. So the first one, the boot.iso is a network installer. So you will have maybe 600 megs of DVD um, ISO image which you can use to perform a network boot. The second one, the DVD one, is somewhere around 9 gigs. So if you use that, like you are set to install anything you want, like you will have full server packages. So the third one is the minimal one which we are going to use for this installation. So without wasting much of your time, let's begin by installing Alma Linux in VirtualBox. So if you look closely, Alma Linux is also having same Anaconda installer, which is used in Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Fedora. So I'm assuming we can also perform an installation based on kickstart file to allow you to perform multiple deployments easily. So this one is similar to Red Hat Enterprise, CentOS or Fedora installer. So first you choose the language, you set your keyboard layout, you choose the software packages, set the root user password, enable or disable CADAMP according to your requirement, select the list of packages you want to install, same thing. For this installation, I'm going to use this 15 gigs virtual hard drive. So Alma Linux is the work of good people at Cloud Linux. So based on their website, they are promising a one-on-one -on -one binary compatibility with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. They are promising a free enterprise grade community driven enterprise distribution that is based on open source Red Hat source code. Migrating from current CentOS installations to Alma Linux is promised as an easy process and if you don't want to use the free Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription because of some reason you can use Alma Linux. So similar to CentOS and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you can do a minimal install or an installation with graphical desktop environment, graphical user interface, sorry. So by default, if you choose to install with a graphical user interface, you are going to get the GNOME desktop environment or else there is also the option for using cockpit so you can like monitor your server from a web-based interface in your browser So 
So we are in the GNOME desktop. Confirm your language, click next. Confirm your keyboard layout, click next. Privacy, if you want to allow location services, if you want to add online accounts, you can. And click skip. Start using Elma Linux. By default, it's going to show some GNOME help. Because I'm familiar with it, I'm going to close it anyway. Now I'm going to set the video resolution to full screen. So I'm going to use CVT 1920 by 1080. So it's going to give me the input for the X render. X render is X resize and rotate. So I'm going to set X render new mode with the output from the CVT command. Then I'm going to add the mode, expander add mode, and the display name. So here it's virtual one. I'm sorry, I tap it wrong. Now the third step is set the display. So for that we type expander s. So this is the known desktop of Alma Linux. By default, it's pretty minimal. You don't have that many apps pre installed. It's having the classic GNOME software. So, if you want to download some packages without using the terminal, you can use that. So there are like four wallpapers rebaked inside Alma Linux, so I'm going to choose this one. So if we go to details, we can see this is Alma Linux version 8.3 running on this machine using GNOME 3.32.2. Let's get some more information. Let's check which kernel we are on. So we are on. Okay, let me increase the font size. Okay, we are on kernel version Citizen job done by the Cloud Linux team. Hats off for the center of center of replacement. So it show me like I'm having some updates. So I'm going to do I'm going to try out the same command which I use in CentOS. So do yum update. One point six megs. Relatively small update. Similar to CentOS, you can also use DNF if you want as an alternate packet manager. So 